Hey everybody! So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be the hidden truth message for our Virgos, okay? So Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, or North Node, it really doesn't matter, love. If you in any way at all identify as a Virgo, then this reading is going to be for you, okay? Now I already got some shuffle going on with the cards and a really great cleansing shuffle. But let us go ahead and shuffle again a few more times for our Virgo and see what the hidden truth messages are for Virgo. May 2021, please, Spirit, thank you. All right. Okay. So we have the Eight of Cups here. Okay. So Virgo, um, something is emotionally missing. You feel like something is missing from the story. Something is missing from your life. Something is just not right. Okay. The challenge here for you right now is judgment. So it's really difficult for you to see what that is or put your finger on what that is. But you definitely know in your heart of hearts that something is missing. With the Seven of Pentacles in reverse at the bottom of the deck, you're no longer waiting around on someone or you're no longer waiting around for something okay you were putting in that work the way that virgos do um but as far as waiting on it you're not doing that anymore okay i'm also feeling taking chances taking risks why because the hermit energy is in reverse meaning you're coming out of your shell and whatever way you were trying to seclude yourself or stay to yourself or anything like that you're not doing it and you're being guided towards divine love and partnership okay so spirit is saying hey um, if you were trying to block your heart from somebody, or you were trying to block your love from someone, they feel it. They feel the, the emotional disconnect with the Eight of Cups here, okay? This person feels you pulling away or they feel you walking away, okay? Then we have the judgment energy. So yeah, I feel like you're getting a wake-up call. Some of you may have been trying to dip and dodge this individual, not necessarily sure if this is the person for you. But Spirit is giving us a sign right now that, yeah, this is your person, okay? We have Archangel Raphael here on the Lover's Call. Card. all right we have the two of wands so uh, the reason i'm feeling some of you were confused or you didn't know if this was the person or not is because you have them and someone else to choose between okay so you're like is this my twin flame is this my twin flame like is that type of energy you were confused so us being virgo we're just going to stay to ourselves now we have queen of wands so spirit is suggesting that you be bold you be confident yes you have a lot of options to choose from yes you have people that want you but wanting you and knowing what to do with you are two different things okay so i feel here like whoever this divine partner is they know exactly what to do with you and they know exactly how to love you so the queen of wands is asking for you to be more confident in yourself okay to uh show this person who you really are to not hold back virgos tend to do that all right we don't let people in too easily let us see eight of cups what is this about eight of cups spirit why is this here oh okay we have the full card yeah so i feel like some of you have been blocking communication from someone or like i said not really speaking to them trying to run away seclude yourself go into hermit mode but with the full card spirit is asking you to take the risk take the chance okay take a chance on love is what it's asking all right judgment oh all righty judgment card we have the ten of wands okay put the burden down okay some of you may be looking at the situation as a burden because you're used to just being by yourself being to yourself that's how virgos are okay but spirit is asking you to not try to do everything by yourself the way that virgos do let this person help you like i said there's people that want you and then there's someone that knows what to do with you that wants to help you that wants to take care of you that wants to provide that wants to you know cater to you if you're a male you know those type of things this has potential to turn into um, a marriage or a long-term relationship this is definitely divine partnership we're talking about with the divine lovers card and then the four of wands this is twin flame energy here okay so two of wands two of wands energy why is this here spirit for virgo all right, I feel these. Okay, wow, yep. So you have somebody else to choose between, and then you have the one that you're going to marry. So who do you think you should choose? <laughs> Amen. All right, we have the Six of Pentacles. So I feel here where it's a equally yoked type of situation. You're going to love them. They're going to love you. You're going to take care of them. They're going to take care of you. And I do mean your spirit, okay, in all ways, actually. But then we have the hanged one here. Yeah, so free yourself. Some of you have been cheating yourself out of being with a good person, okay? Experiencing a good love relationship or a good love situation. That's what it looks like. Let's see. All right, spells for Virgo. What spells are they under, Spirit, please? 
spells for Virgo. Okay. We have health. Okay. Mother Earth Sweet. Mother Earth Bright. Bring to me your health and might. Okay. So your health is increasing. All right. This person is good for your health. Okay. That's what I'm also getting. I'm also getting a lot of sex. Excuse me. But it's good for your health. All right. And um, mental health, physical health, spiritual health. Yeah. Then we have organization. This person, they're very organized or you help them be organized. So it's like they're good for you. You're good for them is what I'm feeling. It says purpose, planning, efficiency. Now come to me so easily okay so there it is virgo this is your message if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and if you have not already go ahead and subscribe peace and hair grease